welcome back guys now so much has been going on with you these past days right you have to prepare for code vita you have to prepare for this goldman sachs and you also have these upcoming interviews for infit eq and hack with infi right now on top of that we have this word user right we have to prepare for this also because this is also a great company now i'm not going to sugarcoat anything but much more than this is also going to happen with you because you know we are just setting foot into our placement drives okay so stay strong and let's crack it okay now in this video i'll tell you everything important that you need to know about what you sir okay so uh, hang on and sit tight so firstly you have uh, already read everything about what you sir that uh, when you are applying for it right so we have three profiles i am not going to uh, go into very depth but i'll just tell you a little bit uh, a little things about it okay so basically we have data science full stack java and ui development these profiles these are very very important when you choose them why because different profiles have you know different purposes these profiles they even might have different number of questions questions sorry okay and in the official intro they said that they will ask five question but uh, different profiles have got different number of questions right uh, some have got even four questions four coding questions for two hours right so that is why these profiles that you choose are very important with data science i think you'll mostly go into the field of python with uh, full stack java you'll actually go into just java into depth and with ui you uh, you have different options okay so uh, i hope you have chosen the profile which suits your interest and profile that uh, in which you are actually good at okay so now let's talk about our important dates why because one needs to know about what is coming up for him so that he can prepare much better right so uh, you'll have your uh, round 1 and round 2 you'll have two rounds okay you have uh, you'll have your round 1 and round 2 round 1 is tomorrow that is 10th of august and uh, the result will be announced in just two days okay so they have said that uh, and the result will be announced on 12th of august and round 2 will be on uh, 18th of august they will give you seven days to prepare a little bit better for round 2 because i think round 2 will be much harder than round 1 and the results of round 2 will be announced on what uh, 20th of august right now since you are going through all this troubles for virtue sir now why uh, what will you what will you will be getting so you have different prizes you have prizes so if you uh, there are basically three different you know positions uh, winner first runner up and second runner up and if you are winner basically there uh, you know if you are winner there are multiple positions of winner also and if you are winner you will get a pre placement offer of uh, you know 6 to 7 lakh okay and if you are first runner up then you have a pre placement offer of 4 to 5 lakh per annum and if you are second runner up a runner up then you have a offer of 4 to uh, 4 lakh per annum okay so basically your uh, you know your uh, pp offer uh, varies from uh, 4 to 7 lp so i think it's pretty decent right because uh, 7 is good so aim for 7 right and after that um, i hope uh, you are clear why uh, because profiles are really really important and why i am saying this uh, i am telling this specifically for why uh, that full stack uh, sorry full stack java development why because you know virtues are really really give importance to java because most of their proje uh, projects are based on java it's you know it's expanding so it's going to data science and all these but the roots of virtues are comes from java so if you are uh, you know if you have like really that much interest in java and you uh, want to make a career build a career on java then virtues is the company you need to go for right so uh, if you are uh, you know comfortable in java then full stack java is really really good for you okay so now let's come for uh, what to prepare what to prepare for uh, our round 1 i am not talking about round 2 right now because around 2 we have uh, seven more days and right now let's look uh, prepare for what is coming up to us just tomorrow okay so <clears throat> firstly uh, i have analyzed many questions of virtues that has uh, previously previously been asked on or both off campus and on campuses and i'll tell you something that uh, you know the questions are not that hard and again and i think that most of you almost 95% of you can easily do that with the eyes closed okay Uh, okay not i closed but i think you can do that very easily so questions are not that hard and uh, i'll just give you examples uh, what kind of question they have been asking they have uh, you know they have been asking like a uh, check a palindrome if a string is palindrome or not and i'm not kidding these were the question that was asked okay and after that a uh, simple question basically anagram and after sorry and after that uh, you have this what uh, uh, swaps uh, you know you have to convert you have to uh, change your uh, what your array into descending order with minimum number of swaps okay Uh, that is a sort of question and you have a uh, question based on different but uh, different matrices like you have to perform addition uh, sorry uh, what you have question on matrices and you have to perform uh, addition multiplication right and uh, you have to you know find uh, in a sorted array you have to find distinct elements and i'm just telling you all the questions that have been come in past and i think you will get an idea that how much you need to prepare and if you are you have already prepared for it then you you know if you already know what kind of questions Uh, if you are uh, already comfortable with them then i think you'll just ace through the exam right and uh, what uh, minimum number of brackets reversal uh, you know uh, you have to find out 
uh, firstly you have to find out if the expression if the you know if this sort of expression if uh, you they'll give you and you'll have to check that if, if it is a if it is balanced or not and i think a few questions like this might be there because it will check how much uh, data structure you know right and it's not that hard you can just do this easily using stacks okay and you might also have to find that how much uh, number of brackets you might need to so basically you have you can encounter questions like these brackets they are not very hard but uh, if you know the data structure then they will be really really easy for you and uh, what other questions they had i think uh, you know they'll actually uh, ask you to write a code on printing 100 factorial uh, this question will be really uh, really easy in python so i think if you are doing it in java then i think you need to know uh, white you need to know big integers and if you are doing it in c or something that c or c++ then i think you need to know a little bit of uh, what digit dp okay so that depends on which language you are coding and what after that uh, basically how to sort a link list these sort of questions right uh, how to sort a link list and uh, some basically they mainly focus on implementation type implementation type questions and uh, there was a question what was that uh, you have to find a four digit number which are perfect squares and all the digits in that number are even so basically you know just remove that and questions are not that hard questions are really easy and you can you know just ace through them and if you have any doubt just go through a website and just check out some basic easy questions on uh, a little bit of data structures and many most of the questions are, impl are implementation based and i think you will just ace, uh, ace through them uh, but what is the important part is that this is the first time that they are happening uh, having round two or around one round two so uh, you know you must have this impression that round two is going to be a lot harder than round one and after that uh, if they have interview rounds even though they have not, not mentioned them but if they have you know technical interview rounds then they are a lot harder to crack okay much harder to crack than all of these uh, you know coding rounds so basically we need to focus more on that and as per for uh, as for the tomorrow exams i can only tell you something that uh, go through the basics okay go through the basics because uh, basics are really important for the round one of virtusa questions won't be hard and look out uh, look out uh, look out for some data structures because data structures will make your coding really hard, uh, really easy and by the way if you have applied for uh, you know uh, go and go for a sample test because i think c++ is not there i don't i'm not sure but uh, someone told me that uh, in ui i think there's no c++ so go to your sample test and check which language is there and after that choose one of those languages and you know just uh, uh, what just uh, check out a few of uh, the syntax errors that you might easily make because suppose you are very much confident in c++ but you have applied for a position of what and you have applied for a position of this uh, full stack java then i don't think that uh, they will i think that they will only give you an option of java for coding right and if they do that then you need to be at least good in java if you're good in uh, sorry if you are uh, you know coding in java then i think you have a you need to have a knowledge of what arrays and collection and all these so uh, just uh, check again your profile and go through the sample test that they have given to you and find out which coding language you need to prepare for okay go through the coding language check out some uh, important syntaxes go through some basics and check out some data structures in that particular language that you have chosen okay and the prices are uh, not that good but uh, you know they seem decent 4 to 7 lpa pp offer and so basically the uh, results will be announced in two days so we don't have much time get ready for round one and uh, i think the high quality entry interview dates are actually coming up because to tomorrow you have a meeting right if you have a meeting so i think our interviews will be coming up really really soon so we have to prepare for a lot don't waste any more time and let's start okay thank you